aboard, Dashy. We're right on course, Captain. Spending a day at the beach was a great idea, Captain. Actually, it was Dashy's suggestion. Well, after all, it is summertime. And even the Octonauts need a holiday now and then. Abalala! What did they say? <laughs> they want to know, are we there yet? Not yet. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> and we are here. <laughs> no need to rush, everyone. We have plenty of... Coming through. You certainly came prepared, Dashy. I sure did, Captain. I can't wait to do a bit of surfing. And I bought some extra surfboards if anyone wants to come along. Surfing sounds like fun. I'm always on the lookout for a new adventure. <laughs> so before long, you can sense the waves before they even reach you. You kind of become a part of them. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive! My family and I used to body surf all the time, so using a board is easy. I'm sure anyone can do it. Maybe not anyone. are better at swashbuckling than surfing. Maybe. Come on, Quasi. Why don't we ride the next wave back to the beach? Hi, matey. <laughs> See you back on the beach, Dashy. Be there soon. Oh, oh, he's sorry. Didn't mean to spook you. I'm Violet, and this is my friend Vic. Sir. We're surfing snails, which means we love to surf. Yeah, we live on the surface of the ocean. And these bubbles keep us afloat. Wow, I've never met a surfing snail before. That's okay, Dudette. We've never met a surfing uh, whatever you are. My name's Dashy. I'm an octonaut. And I bet my friends back at the beach would love to meet you guys. It sounds cool. Race you to the beach. Make your own bubbles? That's right. Like this. <gasps> and use them like surfboards. Wow. Fascinating. Radical. All well and good when the water's calm, but what happens when a big wave hits? Like the one that got me. Dude, you thought that was big? You should see the really big ones we ride. Hey, I know. Tide's coming in soon, and there's going to be some major wave action. Want to check it out? Uh... I do. Let's go. Awesome! This is pretty far out. I know, right? This is far out. No, I mean, pretty far out from shore. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll be totally worth it. So, what are we waiting for? Octonauts, 
the surfing snails have been swept out to sea by a huge wave. Can't they just surf their way to safety? This wave was too big, even for them, and the rough water was popping their bubbles. That's not good. Surfing snails can't swim. If their bubbles pop, they'll sink underwater. They won't be able to get back up. Then we have no time to lose. Quasi peso dashi to the Gup X. <laughs> Right up there is where I last saw the snails. Then let's take a look, shall we? Hey, so you stay here in the tank. We may need you and your medical skills once we find the snails. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Activating glider wings. And up. Get close, Cap! And I'll grab them! I can't reach them! I can't get any closer without crashing. We'll have to try something else. I know! Peso, send up the Octo Ski! On its way, Quasi! Nice cat nap on the beach? <laughs> no, Quasi. To see you stay on the board long enough to really enjoy surfing. <laughs> uh... Come on, let's give it one more try. Toby! Yeah. One more try. Come on, pirate dude. All right, mateys. I'll give it one more try. How do I look? Great. Ready, Sandy? 
you know me. I'm always ready. And so is the Sandy Cam. This special camera will stay on your back through almost anything. And we'll be able to see whatever you see. In the sea. Now, hold on to your hats and enjoy the turtle eye view. Good day. Let's invite Shellington down to take a look. I've got a better idea. <laughs> look at her go. Thank you. Whoever said turtles are slow never met Sandy. Wow, look at all those fish. Oh, there's a trigger fish. A parrotfish. Oh, that's a blue-headed wrasse. Whoa. A pod of dolphins, and they're in a hurry. They look scared. wonder what they're afraid of. Tiger shark. A young one, but big. Sandy, get out of there! Sandy's fast. She might have lost him. Turn the camera around. <gasps> oh, me, oh, my. but we explored the whole reef. Oh, can't wait to get back to the octopus. Was that Tweak? In the gut, Bee? What's she doing in my gut? Captain, Sandy was being chased by a tiger shark and we lost contact with her. Tweak is... We know, and we're right behind her. Quasi, sound the octo alert. No! Octonauts, to your stations. <laughs> Sharks. They're incredible creatures, Captain. Big and fast and with great eyesight, even in the dark, making them terrific hunters. They're called the waste basket of the sea because they'll eat almost anything, especially dolphins and, uh... Yes, how to put this delicately, turtles. Captain, Tweak's reached the part of the reef where we last saw Sandy. Tweak, any sign of Sandy? I don't see her anywhere. Looks like that shark got a bite out of the Sandy can. But where's Sandy? Tweak! Look out! Oh, oh me, oh my! Another new thing to eat! Yum! I love this reef! Pull out that tiger shark! <laughs> the shark. Aye, aye, Captain. Now, Tweak, you lead the shark away. And when I'm clear of the reef, I'll hit the turbo button. Yoo -hoo! Don't forget about me. Hey, come back here. <laughs> Okie dokie, it's turbo time. Yeah! Hey, that's my line. Hold still. 
Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Peso. I'm just glad you're okay. Me too. The shark almost got me till I ducked behind this reef. But oh, I don't know what happened to the Sandy Cam. Uh-oh. Shellington did say they'd eat anything. <laughs> How come the more I eat, the more my tummy hurts? You sure you want to go through with this, matey? I've got to take a look inside that shark's stomach with my X-ray viewer. He may be in as much danger as Sandy was. Careful, Peso. Not too close. Flappity flippers. I think I see the Sandy can and a lot of other things that shouldn't be in that shark's stomach. To eat. Captain, those things will make the shark sick. I've got to go. Hazer, are you all right? I'm fine, but I'm afraid there's one more thing that shouldn't be in that shark's stomach. <laughs> Yum! That was... <laughs> Yucky. Actually, nothing I've eaten today tastes very good, and I'm still hungry. Uh-oh, the engine's in trouble. Oh! Oh! so Peso can get that stuff out of you. Well, okay. Will it hurt? Not if you keep absolutely still. Okay. Easy there, matey. <laughs> Just a little bit to the left. And yes, I've got something. Ooh. Uh, you might want to give that a clean before you use it again. Yeah. There's the sandy cam. Oh my, that's not all. Yeah. I think that's it. Yow! No wonder they called you the waste basket of the sea. How do you feel, Tom? Much better. But now I'm really hungry. Try these. <laughs> Yum! Another new thing to eat. Bye. <laughs> He's eating those carrots faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy. Tweak! What have you done to me, Gup? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> 
Octonauts, tonight we have a very special dinner guest. Dashi? Everyone, I'd like you to meet my little sister, Kashi. Uh, Kashi? Oh, sorry. I'm on the very last page of a Donna Doxy mystery, The Case of the Curious Cuckoo Clock. Once you start a Donna Doxy book, it's really hard to stop. Who's Donna Doxy? The detective undaunted by danger. <laughs> She's the main character in a series of mystery books. They were my favourite growing up. Dashi gave her whole collection to me. All 100 books. I've read 54 of them. 55 when I finish this one. I love a good mystery too, me hearty. Donna Doxy's taught me all kinds of tricks for solving mysteries. Oh, like what, matey? Well, I can tell a lot about a person by looking closely. Take you, for instance. We've only just met, but your eye patch and the tiny piece of your ear that's missing? Tell me you've been in some dangerous situations. I'd say you're reckless but brave. Hmm. And from the way your tail keeps twitching, I'd also say you're not very patient. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Amazing! You've described Quasi perfectly. And one more thing. There's a trace of pudding on your paw. You must have snuck in a little dessert before your dinner. <laughs> Wow. Good job, Kashi. That was incredible. She's good. Possibly too good. It's pretty hard to get anything past my little sister, right, Kashi? Uh, except when she's reading. Right, you ready for the best sister sleepover readathon ever? I'm ready. Which one do you want to read first, Dashi? Oh, um, oh, the case of the disappearing camera. It's one of my favourites. Babies are missing. It was horrible. Something monstrous tossed her our lovely kelp forest home, and now my babies are gone. <laughs> we need to find those baby sea snails and fast. Octonauts to the kelp forest. Captain Barnacles, can I help too? Um. Kashi is very good at working out clues. I notice you're always wearing that uniform, which means you're always ready for the next mission. Me too, sir. All right then, Kashi. Everyone, let's do this! Dashi, what is that? Just orcas. We see them around a lot here this time of year. Uh, come on now, we have to keep up. There! That's right where my babies were. Peso, see if you can find any creatures who saw what happened. Shellington, Dashi and Kashi, you look for clues right here. Quasi, we'll search the nearby kelp for baby snails. This kelp is torn and crushed. The whole area almost looks like a giant footprint. Let's measure it. It's as big as a bus. Somebody must have seen what caused this mess. It's too huge to miss. So, you say you saw a strange creature in the kelp? Sure as my shell I did. Big fella, bumpy all over. No way, that thing was smooth, not bumpy. Um, thank you, I think. I didn't see the thing, but I heard it make a creaky noise. No, it was a bellowing sound. Creaky. Bellowing. I heard it going snoot, snoot, snoot. Flappity flippers. Everyone describes the creature differently. This is going to be a hard mystery to solve. Captain, did you find my babies? Not yet, but don't worry, we'll find them. Did anyone see who took the baby sea snails? We're looking for a creature who's bumpy but also smooth and it makes a creaking, bellowing or snorting sound. Those are all different things. That doesn't help much, matey. Well, we know for sure that the creature is big. It left a huge print in the kelp. Much of the forest nearby was crushed down or torn away. The baby snails could have been carried away on a piece of torn kelp. <gasps> My babies! But where did the creature take them? Creature? I'd say we're looking for a monster. A kelp monster. Whatever it is, we've got to find it. 
But be careful, everyone. There's something big and possibly dangerous out there. No sign of any creature or snails. Sure is quiet. Shadowy. With lots of places to hide. The killed monster! He's just a ray. They normally live here. And he's not big enough to be the creature. Right. I knew that. Look! Torn kill! And there's more over here! And here! Hmm. Now this could lead us to... Ah! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Why are you sneaking up on me? Why are you hiding in the kill? I'm not hiding, I'm floating. And it was very relaxing until you swam right into me. How big is he? Not as big as a bus. What do you mean, bus? I'm a harbor seal. Sorry to have bothered you, Mr. Harbour Seal. Ah, it's all right. You two are strange, but you're not the strangest thing I've bumped into tonight. What else have you bumped into? Well, uh, like I said, it was strange. It was big. It nearly knocked me over when it scraped itself along the sea floor, left behind a big hole. A hole? Yeah, you can see it for yourself on the other side of this kelp. Thanks. Let's go. Now that is unusual, and it might be a clue. Deshi, look! Shells! But not snail shells, barnacle shells. These shells belong to little creatures called barnacles that are usually attached to rocks or even other creatures. And look! They lead in there! It's definitely a clue. As Donna Doxy says, we're hot on the trail! The trail just ends. Oh, I was so sure we were onto something. <laughs> Snort! <laughs> Bellow. <laughs> Creak! <laughs> huh? Nothing to see here. Just a big clump of kelp. Is that a whale? Yes, a grey whale. You can tell because he has bumps on his back instead of a dorsal fin. So he's bumpy, but also smooth, just like the crab and urchin said. And he's making all the noises they mentioned too. <laughs> Mystery solved. The kelp monster that took the baby snails was you, a grey whale. Uh, oh, I uh, don't know what you're talking about. I'm just kelp. Kelp doesn't talk. Oh, OK, maybe not. But please don't give away my disguise. I'm hiding from a pod of orca whales. They want to eat me. Where'd that grey whale go? Let's not go for real. Oh. We won't give you away. Promise. But we'd like to check you for baby snails. They may have gotten caught up in your kelp disguise. Oh, uh, go ahead then. There they are! Oh, sorry about that. I didn't know I had any creatures on my head. Oh, let's get you back to your mum. Oh, my precious little babies. I was so worried. How did you find them? By following the clues. First we discovered the right up part of the seafloor. Then we tracked a trail of barnacle shells to the end, where we heard a spooky noise. That's when we found the grey whale accidentally carrying the snails. Now it all makes sense. Grey whale snouts are covered with barnacles. He must have left the trail of shells by scraping his mouth along the seafloor to eat. But where is the whale? Hiding. Really? Grey whales usually travel to warmer water this time of year. There's a pod of orcas after him, and they'd like to eat him. Oh. Only me! This kelp forest is a safe place for me to hide. I think we can help you. A whale tracker shows that the orcas are gone. Oh, what a relief. Um, before I go, can I ask one last favour? There's a piece of kelp stuck in my blowhole. Would you mind? This will make the perfect souvenir for our case. <sighs> Thank you for all your help. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, how about finishing up our Donna Doxy readathon? I've got a better idea. Instead of reading a mystery, let's write one. It's about two sisters who team up to solve cases. The little sister is the brains of the team. <laughs> <laughs>
monkey with a tool belt. Wazzy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> <laughs> 